So hey guys, Huzzy here bringing you another video. Now this is the 7 facts video that I was called out to do by Phi. Uh, the Phi lol, I'm sure all of you are aware of him. He will be linked in the, the, the description below for calling me out. Uh, now this type of series is, I don't know, it's kind of a cool one. That it goes around a YouTuber calling out YouTuber and you just have to say 7 facts about yourself. Some of them are true, some of them will be false. Um, now for my one, predominantly, they're going to be true, or are they? You have to try and figure it out. Um, but yeah, seven facts that you guys probably don't know about me. Um, and it's just so you can kind of learn a little bit more. Um, so I will be calling out someone at the end of this video um, to do the next one in the chain. Um, so look out for that if you are staying till the end. So the first fact I'm going to go into is my name. Uh, the name Huzzy, where did it come from? A lot of people ask, you know, where do gamers get their names? It's basically like naming a baby. How do, how do you name your son? How do you name your daughter? It's much like the same with getting a gamer name, in my eyes anyway. Now, the first thing I want to say is I quite like gamer names that are actually names. Now, you, mean, you might go, what, what does that mean? I don't really like someone that could call themselves, no, no offense if this is you, I have no idea, but like DangerBoy176. To me, that isn't really a name. Um, where Huzz, I don't mind if someone on the street runs up to me and calls me Huzz. Never happened, but I wouldn't mind it. It's like a name. It doesn't stand out as a weird thing. It's just a casual name. Um, so that is kind of where I stand. Now, the name Huzzy, it came from when I used to play World of Warcraft. When I first started the game, I obviously needed my name. And before that, I played RuneScape, and my name was HV8, which you can't have a number in uh, World of Warcraft. And that kind of contradicts, you know, kind of what I just said. But I was really young when I played RuneScape. And when I started World of Warcraft, I was a bit older and wanted a proper name anyway. Uh, now, a friend at the time played World of Warcraft before me. And his name was Fuzzies, F-U-Z-Z-Y-Z. -Z -Z. And I didn't like the Z at the end. And my surname begins with H. And that's basically how Huzzy came about. Huzzy. And obviously being short is Huzz. So that's how my name came about. Uh, and that's pretty much it. It's kind of lame. I don't really have a just sudden urge and a dream thinking of it. Is That's just generally how I got it. Number two is my nationality. So what am I? Um, now, many people who are listening to me right now, etc., would think that I'm pure English. Uh, although I have lived in England most of my life, I would probably claim that I'm actually Welsh. Um, I've lived in Wales for a period of my time and all my family basically live in Wales right now. So both sets of grandparents live there, uh, uncles, cousins, etc. All Everybody lives there pretty much. Um, so yeah, big big Welsh influence in me right now. Um, but also um, my dad grew up in South Africa with his family. Uh, his brother was born there and for 15 odd years of my dad's growing up life, he was raised in South Africa. So that has also made a big influence in my life in the way I've been raised. Um, so you could probably say that's, I don't know, a bit of that is in me. Um, that's pretty much it for my nationality. So you could probably say I'm Welsh, English and South African in a certain extent. So yeah, that's kind of where it stands. Um, now, I thought I'd go into a bit of gaming stuff, seeing that I am a gaming channel. Um, and you're probably interested in that as well as not just me. So uh, being Diamond 2 in League of Legends, you'd probably think that maybe I've done other games seriously, etc. And yeah, I have. I played World of Warcraft for many years. And although I was not hardcore, uh, I did raid heroics and it was really good fun. I do miss the days of raiding in WoW. And basically when Ice, uh, Ice Crown Citadel, I think the raid was called, back in the uh, Wrath of Lich King came out, that's when we kind of started heroic modes. And it's arguable that that was kind of the easy time of World of Warcraft, but I loved it. It was great fun. I have really good memories of raiding back then and I miss it. And then from then on we kind of just completed normal mode and moved on to heroic mode pretty much in every single expansion apart from Mr. Pandaria uh, because yeah we ran into some troubles like with attendance etc and that's kind of where the, uh, the guild fell apart and that's where Leak took over for me. Um, and then other game is Call of Duty. Uh, now this is probably some people are going to be blindsided by this one. It's like wait where did Call of Duty come from? Before I even played uh, World of Warcraft I think it was uh, I played Call of Duty quite a lot and I was actually fairly competitive in it. Although I was fairly young, uh, I was fifth in the world on the MLG Game Battles ladder and my clan or team, whatever you want to call it, was about eighth in the world on the MLG Games Battles ladder. It was really good fun and yeah, that, I missed that as well. Now I don't really play Call of Duty anymore. If I go play an FPS, I'll play Battlefield 4 right now. Uh, but yeah, Call of Duty is a great game if you just want to go shoot people in the face. Uh, where right now with me being a bit older, I quite like Battlefield because it's a lot more strategic. And yeah, it's I just prefer Battlefield, but I don't really I don't have any fanboyism towards any games. Um, now I thought I'd go into number four being sport. 
Now, uh, after watching some of these Seven Facts videos, people have kind of mentioned, you know, what sport did they play while growing up. Although we are a culture of gamers and geeks, I do believe sport is very important when growing up, especially as it kind of gives you, I don't know, I feel it gives you mental stability as it makes you be able to have competitiveness and drive. And that's really what it was for me. And uh, now I was fairly high up in sport when growing up. I was a A-League champion football player. I played rugby at a high level. My school team was the best in the district. I played cricket in the summer as well as a bit of golf. And um, and then I was county athletics. So yeah, sport was a big thing with growing up with me. I very, well, I don't really play sport anymore, which my family and I can understand are a bit sad in that fact. But they can kind of see I'm doing quite well with gaming. So they're not totally distraught. You know, I am doing something. Uh, slightly competitive um, so that's pretty much it with me sport is a big thing in my family you know my sister used to play for Wales in golf my dad used to be a professional golf uh, man <laughs> and my uncle was professional as well so yeah sport is a big thing for me and my family and that's kind of where I get my competitiveness from which has helped me in League of Legends I would say a fair bit uh, now moving on probably to the most serious question in these seven facts what is my favorite champion in League of Legends and why? Uh, now I can understand why people ask this question. It's you know you're new to League of Legends or you're new to, you want a new champion in your pool and you ask someone that makes content. I'm sure other YouTubers get this question all the time. Uh, so my favorite champion uh, by hands down is Fiora. Uh, I feel that she is probably the strongest champion in League of Legends right now. She can play any single role. She can even you know play all five roles at the same time and she'll just win the game for everybody. Um, she's just amazing. All her skins look great. Her kit is amazing. And anybody who doubts this, God, trust me, you need to play it and you'll get Diamond 1 straight away. Um, so that, yeah, that is my favourite champion by hands down. Now moving on to the next question. It's a weird one in the phrasing, but it's what do I do? Uh, now I take this, people ask me, what do you do, Huz? I take this as what do you do outside of, of a computer? Um, I Not a lot, to be honest. <laughs> it's rather sad in saying that. Uh, now, yeah, used to I used to do a lot of sport, but not anymore. So what do I do? Well, I'm a university student. Fairly boring, I know. A lot of people are uni students nowadays. Um, but I'm a uni student that studies computer game design. Um, I'm currently studying in Cambridge, but don't take that as uh, the genius one. I'm just in a normal university in Cambridge. Uh, and it's basically, I could have gone to somewhere else. I could have gone to a bit better university, but I wanted to stay local. I am local to the Cambridge area. And I cannot be happier. The course is going fairly well. I'm doing what I love. In the end of the day, I'm making games. Uh, the programming is a bit tedious, but the game engine is really good fun. And eventually, I will probably be looking to work for... Well, Jagex is local to the area who make RuneScape. And uh, Riot, obviously. Cologne, Germany is their European offices. But I will be honest, in my future, I see myself living in America. As I've always loved America. I used to go there a lot when I was younger. Uh, like you know once or twice a year every single year for about 14 years um so yeah i do love america and yeah i see myself living there so riot if anybody from riot's listening i want to work for you guys eventually and i don't mind if it's in germany when i first start but eventually i want to work in uh, the la office um and then the final question i thought i'd wrap it up with why did i make my youtube channel um it's basically well, it's a question with two answers, as I'm someone that has always liked to help people. With my sport background, I was always captain of teams and, you know, a real motivational person, uh, as well as someone that tries to set by example. Um, and that's pretty much what it comes down to. I like helping people. And I was on a gap year between university and, uh, or between A-level and university, which if you're American, which I know a lot of you are, was um, high school and college. And I was bored, so I decided to make a YouTube channel. I was platinum ELO back then, and that was fairly decent, although it's not great now because the yeah, solo queue is rather easy. But yeah, I made the channel, and yeah, I, I think it's going fairly well. I am so happy with what's happened. By the making of this video, we're at over 8,400 subscribers, and I cannot be happier. Uh, so I have to thank every single one of you for subscribing, watching. Uh, anything like that as I really do appreciate it but that's pretty much my time guys this was the seven facts video uh, I did go longer than I thought it would but that's pretty much me I'm a very good part well I, I like speaking which does help if you're making a YouTube channel uh, but anyway I th hope you guys learned a little bit more about me and uh, the person I'm calling out uh, is going to come up in a second in the outro slide so look out for that and thanks for watching again I will see you guys next time
So the person I am calling out is Four Paws and his channel is How to Top Lane. If you don't know who he is, check him out and I'm sure his 7 Facts video will be great.